Lately, I have noticed that people are increasingly asking questions about the security of the personal data that circulates on the internet. Well, if young people are more careless and post their personal life, emotions, thoughts, problems, then older people have a more skeptical opinion about the internet. Some of them consider the internet a foreign thing for people's lives, and others avoid it because it seems to be too complicated. Hey, don't worry, calm down and take it easy. Maybe, are you asking why? Well, because they already know almost everything about us. Doesn't it seem weird at all that sometimes the feed looks like it already knows what we are thinking of? Oh yeah, the advertising that hits all the sites we visit practically too often coincides with our thoughts. Don't tell me it thought it was a miracle or a coincidence. As you know, any action in the global network can be tracked. Hmm, sounds like a paranoid stalking. But it is right. Search requests, subscribes, likes, social media, how much time are you using a site, even a mouse click. I'm telling you, don't worry. Take a cookie. Did you take it? Alright, don't eat it. Save it. And thanks to this cookie, I will know that you Actually, you are nobody else but you. So, the cookies of the sites work according to this principle. The site sends a text document to your computer. Initially, just the login and the password were entered in this text document. Let's say a big thank you to our cookies for quick access to our accounts. Then, it turned out that much more sensitive information can be entered in this document. When you open your mail or any other website, then begins the creation of your portrait. For example, what kind of bank did you use? What transfers did you make? What size did you receive the data from? And these cookies are like a kind of trackers. They are able to memorize information about the data entered from the keyboard and the history of the movement of your mouse. And believe me, this is just beginning. Over time, the desire to collect and process user information and interests only increased. Obviously, the biggest corporations like Google, Amazon, Facebook came to the market with their decisions and captured it. So, Google Analytics deals with such tasks successfully. The users of the sites who install these products for their activity get a general statistic about how many people and from where they redirected to his site, how many pages they saw and at what point the users decided to leave. But I hope you understand that in order to make such a statistic it is necessary to scan each user in a particular way. But each user? First of all, the information is taken from each one separately and then web analysts receive general statistic. Therefore, with the internet access for everyone is created a personal folder. By the way, the location of your smartphone is also available to tracking through the GPS or data transfer or through the GSM network. So, in the first case, due to the connection to the satellite and in the second case, due to the nearby network station tower which transmits information about location, actually about your location sector. And now, let's get deeper about how everyone is getting a personal identifier in the network. So, how it knows that me, I mean, this is me and you, are you. Ok, you can log into the mail using an account, right? So, this account will represent your name. What? Won't you sign up with your real name? Will you indicate your fake information? Good try. But the fact is that your real name doesn't matter at all. You cannot even log in. So, look. In order to detect our identifier, the best helper is our browser. This browser is the biggest nymphomaniac that allows access to all trackers. For example, it will give access to the e-tag. This is a mechanism that allows caches to be more efficient. Or maybe it will provide data about our operating system. All these together form the digital print or the fingerprint of the browser. And if you are also logged in, so, you just open the door as much as you can and welcome to the party. You just say, go ahead and analyze me. Take it. And now, think for a second. 
How easy are we throwing through the internet our personal data? Look, I have just connected the internet cable, entered to the World Wide Web and you started to search all about these random facts like Fluffy Cats, ACDC Music, how to hack Android, doesn't matter. Congratulations, the browser's digital print started to be formed. So here you just got on the site about web analytics. Of course it scans your browser print and decorate the profile with details about how much did you toaster order cost, the time of using of the sites and others. At this moment your browser is already a big personality that contains your secrets. Don't forget to check your mail and they won't forget to check you also. Oh. You just receive a notification about registering to World of Tanks. For security purpose, can you fill in your phone number please? Thank you. Of course, the same number you are using for creating a Twitter account. After that, a smartphone with the same number will seek for the itinerary to the closest hospital. Hmm. I will use my Facebook account to sign up, where it of course contains our phone number. Year by year, internet services require more and more personal information. Once, a random email was enough. Then, the phone numbers were required. The question is, what next? How do you mean what? These were just about you. But what about your friends? Let's give to the WhatsApp and Viber the access to our contacts. Instead, we can chat for free and make calls. I don't know if you realize how much we exposed our life to the internet. Would you like to see how deep is that? Just for interest. Change your phone number into your main Twitter account. Create a new account and don't indicate nothing except that phone number that you just removed from the first, I mean from the main account. Voila, it already proposed to you your old and good friends. The same friends that you might know. So what's up buddy? Don't tell me you're hearing this for the first time. By the way, do you still want a cookie? Hey, what is your opinion and what is your point of view about the illusion of anonymity on the internet? But for whom scanning is important, maybe we'll talk about at the next time. Be smart and stay safe.